<laughs> hey guys, it's hairstylist Heather and Cameron here. It's her two month update. I cannot believe she's two month. <laughs> and she just spit up like a tide. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So she's two months and we just went to her two month check up and she's at right about eight pounds i think eight pounds one ounce maybe or about right at eight pounds i can't remember i think that's what it was but she's 21 inches long now i feel like she went from 18 to 21 i feel like that was three inches it was a lot of growth in just two months but like she's definitely getting longer what you talking to me you go tell him you just tell him yeah you tell him she's right at eight pounds so they did mention like possibly Loves her passive, definitely. So they did mention if I wanted to supplement, like with some formula a little bit possibly. And so I'm thinking about doing that. But she's been exclusively breastfeeding with me. Um, I've been pumping a little bit. And so I have some in the freezer and some extra like for I'm getting back to work and everything. But she's doing really good with breastfeeding and I'm so glad I've kept it up. This, this is about how long I made it to with Claire. So I'm just glad that I made it this far again and it's so much easier this time the third time around breastfeeding is like it's way easier i just cannot believe how much easier it is and simple and it's awesome i love it and if she's our last one i really want to breastfeed her as long as possible come me yeah you want mama hold you yes you want mama talk to you don't you say hey guys Say hey. Hey, hey. So she's starting to stay awake a little bit now. Um, let me move this out of the living room because she's being so good. But, um, I think you're pooping on me now. Now you're pooping on me. You're spitting up on me and now you're pooping on me. Is that how it goes? Is that how it goes, Cameron? She's in really good. She's sleeping really good. So, like, okay, as far as her schedule goes. Oh yeah, before I tell you her schedule. They want me to bring her back Friday just for like a little checkup possibly to see how her weight gain has been the past two weeks and just make sure she's still gaining really good since she's still only eight pounds at two months. And the girls were eight pounds when they were born. So it's so crazy. I still feel like I have a little newborn because she's still so little. Yay. So her schedule, like normally she gets up about eight-ish and she'll eat. And then probably through the day, she's eating like about every, still two to three hours during the day. She still eats pretty often. Um, and then if I do pump, I usually get about three ounces like together, like an ounce and a half on each side. Um, but she's eating about, about three ounces whenever I'm not with her. That's pretty, I thought that's pretty good. Um, pretty on average there. She likes to be moving around. Move around. She likes to be bouncing or rocked or, um, or like in her swing or her bouncy. Say hey guys. She probably wants me to change her diaper. Cause she just baby. You just poopy? You want me to turn her diaper? She stays awake a little bit. Usually in the afternoon, around 5 is when she has her big time that she's awake and happy and everything. Um, and then, and she likes to be like this too, where she can look around. Then she goes to bed, usually around 10, well, 8 or 9 to 10, whatever time it ends up being. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. So usually, um, <laughs> I have to her around, but she likes me like I'm walking around with her. So, um, yeah, so I was trying to figure out how to hold her and still get this video done because she needs so squirmy, squirmy, wormy. So, um, she likes to be held like this and fatter booty. Okay, so. I was talking about, I think, her bedtime routine. I got her on a good bedtime routine, and she's sleeping so good and not. She normally gets ready for bed about 8, 8-ish, and we um, all feed her. And then, either if we're doing a bath that night, I've been doing her bath every other night. She loves bath time. I probably could do bath time every night. But she 
would have stayed in the bath like forever, just smiling and looking around. I think she loves like the water, the noise of water. I think she's gonna love like going to the pool next summer and all that kind of stuff. But I do a good bath time. Then we get her ready for bed. I do like the lavender lotion and get her all sold up ready for bed. And then if usually she's really tired by then, usually I can feed her right then. And then sometimes I'll rock her a little bit if she's if I can tell that she's not quite getting really tired, but I'll wait until she's getting real tired and getting ready to go to bed, and I'll feed her, and I just let her eat until she goes to sleep, and then I'll lay her down, and sometimes, depending on if she's really tired or not, she will lay down and go, I mean, she'll be asleep when I lay her down, and sometimes I, after she eats and I lay her down, she'll kind of wake up a little bit, but she knows, I feel like she is so smart, she knows when the lights go off, and like, cause I think during the day, you know, she naps in here and stuff and she hears the girls. So she, she knows it's like during the day. But at night, whenever it's really quiet, I have the noise, usually a noise maker on the ocean. Our whole house is like an ocean. At night, we all sleep with the sound maker. And as soon as I lay her down, I turn the lights off. Like, it doesn't matter if she's already asleep or not, she goes to sleep. Then a few minutes, I can go back in there and check on her, and she's, like, out asleep, even if her eyes were open, and she was awake before when I laid her down. She's just so good, so crazy. I remember Claire was so good at that, too. She would still get up more at night until she was a little bit older, but both Claire and um, came here really good and get on a good bedtime nighttime routine. Then she'll usually get up like about four or five and eat and go right back to sleep. Like just eat and go back to sleep. And then um, and then even in the mornings, like sometimes I feel like, you know, when the sun's coming up, she starts hearing the girls in the morning. I'll give her a passy and see. Sometimes she'll go back to sleep. And sometimes she's like, nope, I'm ready to get up. And usually that's about eight. Um, but sometimes I can kind of push it to nine sometimes if I want to sleep in a little bit. And and then that kind of starts her day. And then throughout the day, she wants to be like this. She wants to be held a lot, um, eats a lot, takes little naps. And I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with whatever she wants to do during the day, as long as she is sleeping good at night. So that's really awesome. But her hair, I feel like, is lightening up a little bit. I feel like Claire's and Cameron's hair was so dark when they were born. And then it just kind of starts lining up. I don't know, it's staying a little bit dark. And it's so curly when it's wet, it's really curly. And I felt like that's how Kinsley's was. So I'm thinking she might have the hair like Claire's, but like as far as the color. And then like her texture there with the waves and stuff, I think it's going to be way these like Kinsley. Um, Claire's is always really straight, I think. So I don't know, we'll see as she gets older. Who knows what you're going to be like, Kinsley or Claire? She'll probably be a mix of both. Kinsley and Claire are so different. I could say all the things that are, like, they are totally opposite. And I just think Camry's going to be a good mixture of both of them. I feel like she looks just like Claire, but the way she acts as a baby, I feel like it's more like Kinsley. So, who knows? We'll see. Oh, uh, yeah, she doesn't have the stuff coming out of her eye again. I think this, I think Claire's stuff going out of her eye lasted until she was about two months and then I think the same thing is happening to Camry. She really does start, I feel like she's starting to feel like she's gaining some weight. I feel like up until two months I still feel like she was just so little tiny and I was trying to be so careful with her and on. I feel like now she's really starting to gain some weight for sure. And the only thing other with me, I want to show on my belly again, but I just, uh, my weight is back down to 116. I was 112 when I got pregnant. And I feel like that I fluctuate from 110 to 120 like on av on average. I'm getting back to the gym a little bit. I don't really have time. Like, I really get back to work. It's holiday time. I'm probably not. I'm going to go to the gym whenever I can. I'm not going to push it. And I'm not worried about it right now with holiday time. We're trying to get our new business up and moving. Sorry if this is hard to watch me <laughs> rocking her to the gym okay but I think this is I think I'm pretty much back to my pre-pregnancy weight I'm just not in the shape like I've got to build my muscle back up I've got to get back to running and all that kind of stuff so um yeah and I'm really I'm definitely not worried about when I'm breastfeeding as long as I'm breastfeeding I'm not gonna worry Molly hush. I'm not gonna worry about it at all Molly go Molly go I gotta do my body up <laughs> So, I'm just like, well, I'll just get back to it when I, probably after the new year and after she's six months old and I'm not 
having to breastfeed so often, all that kind of stuff, when things kind of slow down after the new year, then I'll probably get back at it. And I'll still have fe like February, March, April, May, like about four months. Well, depend on, we may go on a, since we didn't get to go on our last beach trip like we usually do in the summer, then I'm, because I had her, you know, we're thinking about going on our spring break trip again like we did last year. And so, well, it's about three months till then. So I'll be wearing bed and suit again. But, and I'm not even worried about it then. I'm like, I never usually worry about working out and stuff so much like the first year. Usually it takes me about a good year to get back in shape. Um, and two years to be like really back in shape. But just the first year after having a baby, I'm just like, whatever. Just that baby. I don't stress about it so much and all that kind of stuff but I do feel so much better when I go to the gym like I love going to the gym it's just like a stress reliever it's just like my time to relax and just you know I don't know it's just like a mommy time kind of thing for me um just to go in there and work out and take my time and just kind of hang out and this um gym has like a spot like a sauna area oh my gosh I've never been in the sauna it was so hot because I was pregnant with her when I started there, so I hadn't been in there yet, and I went the other week. It was so hot, but anyways, that's enough with me, so she loves to be held like this. Mm. She loves her so much. I'll probably go lay her down so I can show my belly. Okay, I'm about to show my belly real quick since I didn't, I didn't get time to earlier. So, this is kind of what it's looking like with my shirt on. I feel like I am looking like I'm three months pregnant. Like, because you still have, like, a little pooch for a while. It usually takes me a good year. So, um, and this is what looks like on the side. Still just need to get rid of all this flabbiness through here. You know? And this is what it's looking like with my stitch. Well, <laughs> this is what it looks like with my stitch. And sorry, Claire Killer is right there. Um. So it's looking a lot better. This was my problem area. And it finally got better when I stopped. I was like using way too much of the um, peroxide and used foreign on it. I just needed to like leave it on. But anyways, that's what it's looking like. So I hope you guys can see her good. Because I wanted to get a little clip of her. Just her baby. But she loves to be like this. Like sleep like this on her belly or be rocked like this. She just loves to be all cozied up on this. I feel like she feels like she's back in my belly all cozied up probably. Just love her so much. And her little hair, she's still just so little. Like it's still it's crazy that the girls were the size they were born. To think I had one that was just so teeny tiny. So little. So um ah, I don't want to put her down. But I'm going to put it on so I can show y'all real quick. And yeah, so thanks so much for watching, guys. Subscribe, comment, and like. Check out our daily vlogs. I'm really trying to keep up with our daily vlogs, even though our life is so, so busy right now with three kiddos. Starting our new business. It, it is seriously crazy. But keeping up, I love doing our daily vlogs, so it's not even like like I have to do it. I just love doing it. It's the editing part, really, that takes a lot of time. Well, it doesn't really take that long of time. I'm not really like, I'm not really even editing in the afternoon. I just edit whenever uh, I'm breastfeeding with her. I'll edit a little bit or if we're in the car and stuff. So.